driver. Your gratitude is touching. Gratitude? That was my prize-fighting bear you killed! How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you are living at all. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty! You're welcome. Enjoy life as a beggar. You've ruined me, and you don't care! No one cares! What a world! What a world! Maybe pick a smaller animal to abuse next time. Farewell. How am I going to feed the children now that my bear is dead? The seat of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their guard's house. What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an... an overripe plum. I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my... uh... uh... loins. Lions, eh? Well, I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to, just so you know.
Survey the area sooner. This must be the house of their timid guard. They built him a rich dwelling. The Lord takes the best of us to sit beside him. Bishop Aylforth? He is not with God. He is locked in the flaming crypt where all heretics go. Oh, he don't hear you. Conspecto hominum quale dilection. Ego sum e verite. Qua tantum amas te qui elegit, ma ad vaso vocato. Even the mighty A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do, but I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylforth, was mighty indeed in defense. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done.
bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their god. Their god brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. On the mountain his fate is transfigured. God breathed. His bapt. The women came with hoverings, but they could not... F his resurrection. Thou art weighed. Perhaps you should try. On the mountain his... His transfi... The women came with hoverings. His resurrect. God breathed. His baptism. Thou art weighed. Perhaps you should try. God breathed. His baptism. On the mountain is his transfiguration. The women came with other his resur and Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. Terror scares away the foul throngs. Make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same.
You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who sent me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Are you spying on me? Scarpa, she's on to us. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. That Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut, and do as you're told. Shut your mouth, yeah? Unless you want yours to rot off in the keep. Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him?
bluffed from the other side.
The other side must be barred. Papers thrown in the fire. Goodman covering his tracks, other guards destroying evidence. garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Someone disagrees with Alfred, educating the people of Winchester. You don't give me Alfred's jewel, I will... I shall whittle in your duck pond! Give me Elfred's jewel, I will. I shall whittle in your dust.
I should be cautious around here. My eyes, Sunan. That's not normal.
thick walls and thicker guards. Guards, a place to keep a valuable man. Must be blocked from the other side. Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife. Carried out soon.
evidence against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite reed. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends.
I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. <laughs> Ugh. Help! Don't mess as it's said, Jack. Stow 
There are rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. 